<sighs> you want me to use my rune lens power to help you cross this, yes? Uh, yep, just pshoo us across like champs. Can you do it? Of course I can. I am perfection incarnate. Great. Distance, nominal. Direction, nominal. Landing point? Well, I can't see it, but let's assume it's nominal. Oh, Carrie. You are a paragon. Yeah, but are you, like, a thousand percent sure here? Because the last time didn't go so hot. I have never made a single mistake in my entire existence, for I am perfect. Is that clear? Y yes, uh, ma'am. Fear not. I have a perfect mental picture of where we'll land. But you just said you can see. Okay, I'll be quiet. Now gather around and stay close. Despite my inability to err, I can't have you causing problems. You've got this, Carrie. I should probably mention that one blunder will cast us irretrievably into the space between dimensions. But fortunately, that is not going to happen. This is where you all say, ah, oh, what? But we'll just move right past that. Uh, one moment. Could we just... Though I've no idea how. Did you see those giant lizards? What was that? A blunder. That's... that's not true. It was just the scenic route. Right. Well, thanks for that. Remember, Carrie? Perfection. Okie doke. Out of here. Let's see, you catch these. What you get. I just hate resorting to violence.
Was a breeze. Stronger, but not strong enough. Take the kill. Another flawless victory. <sighs> thank you, thank you. You can reward me with a... Just hate resorting to violence. Should be. <laughs> Leave this one to me.
good here. What you get? I just keep getting better. Win for me, won't you? I'll take the kill. Ha, we cleaned right up! Stronger, but not strong enough. Huh. Now what do you make of that? Doesn't seem to be hostile. Oh, <laughs> it's actually kind of cute. Thank you. 
to heal.
Here I come! over. but not strong enough. Everybody, look there.
Yes, exactly. The former king's idiot son is utterly incapable of making up his mind. But I assure you, I will make him consent to this. Considering the debt his family owes me, he is in no position to refuse. Hmm. Very well. Just keep a level head, Lord Counselor. You still have time. Focus on making steady progress. I shall. Uh, and, if I may, has word of my efforts reached Duke Zaldric? Oh, yes. And he rewards his capable allies most handsomely. That I promise you. <laughs> Music to my ears. And yet you demanded a contract written in the Duke's own hand. Not the most trusting of men, are you? Hmm. Is something the matter? <sighs> Nothing of import. The Dukes is pleased with your work thus far. Just see that you make steady progress. I will not fail you. Farewell for now, Lord Counselor. The conniving vixen! Who does she think she is? Still, if I play my cards right, my dream of sitting the Eucrisian throne may yet come true. <laughs> it's her! I knew it! The woman in the mask? Who is she? We saw her at the Rune Barrows working with an Imperial spy. Interesting. But not as interesting as the story we just heard. In all his distrustfulness, Harlan has finally done something to serve his country. Yep. Let's go find that contract she talked about. Here it is. It appears legitimate. So we just take this and hustle our bones out of here? Yeah. That scholar guy would know what to do with it. There can be no mistake. This is a contract drafted by Dukes Aldric. It's written in the same hand as his letter to King Yuma. Then we have proof of Harlan's betrayal. We do indeed. So now, you, Chris, is gonna fight the Empire, right? Right, guys? Uh, will it, though? I think we may require one more push to help our king find his resolve. What kind of push are we talking here? If I may, Commander Noah, I have a little job for you. Very well. I shall head to the palace straight away and sow the necessary seeds. Gotta be honest, I'm not sure what to make of this plan. Melridge clearly has something in mind. Are you feeling confident about those acting chops, Noah? Uh, m maybe? You can do it! Unfounded confidence is an actor's greatest weapon! The commander of the Alliance can do anything if he puts his mind to it, yes? Uh, sure. I guess. Here goes nothing.
I must find... Catch me a wheel. Well then, your majesty, have you made your decision? All of you, Chris, awaits your word, for your actions this day could herald a bright new era for our kingdom. In fact, I understand that Duke Zaldric's research into new uses for Runelands is his making great strides. I'm endlessly impressed at your ability to vomit out nonsense you don't believe in. Oh, you're a politician born and bred. Or perhaps merely a swindler. How many times must I remind you that you are here as an observer, Count? Your Majesty, in light of the Countess's continuous interruptions, I suggest you have her removed. Your father would not have tolerated such impudence from a guest. Of that, I am certain. But... If anyone is removed here, it will be you, Lord Harlan. What? How dare you? You're up, Noah. Go get him. Lord Harlan is a traitor who has conspired to sell out Eucharist to Dukes Aldrich for his own personal gain. Traitor? Uh, personal gain? What? Who do you think you are? The fact you cobbled together some pathetic army out of defeated troops gives you no right to speak to me so. Unless you come bearing proof of this outrageous claim, I suggest you take your seat! My proof is this contract sent by Duke Zaldric to Lord Harlan. It says, and I quote, Should Lord Harlan secure Eucharist's surrender, he shall retain his wealth and status and be given high standing after the dissolution of the Sheerith dynasty. It's all right here on the page. This, um, well, the handwriting does seem to match the letter I received from the Dukes. You damnable varlet! Where did you get that? Oh! Ah, oh, no, no! You, you see, uh... It seems you are familiar with this document, Lord Harlan. No! Of course not! You betrayed me, Lord Harlan. Betrayed your king... and your kingdom. 
everything I have done was for the benefit of you, Chris. You must believe me. I... Cassius! Guards! Prepare the special chamber for Lord Harlan. I have a great many questions to ask him. <clears throat> you have it all wrong! I am no traitor! In fact, had your father still reigned, this need never have happened! <clears throat> but instead, we have you, Yuma! You! And you, Chris, cannot persevere with an heir so foolish and feckless. You are driving our kingdom to ruin. What choice did I have but to ally with the Empire? Get him out of here, now! Do you understand now, Yuma? I, I mean... Your Majesty, now that you've seen the contract, are Dukes Aldrich's motives not exceedingly clear? The man has no intention of allowing the Shirith dynasty to continue. <sighs> Such treachery. If the Dukes was willing to do away with the royal family, what would he have done to us? <sighs> I choose to do all in my power to help Commander Noah of the Alliance. He's a man I can count on. And I will fight at his side. Oh. Apologies, Periel. Apologies, Lord Counselors. I just... I need a little more time. There might yet be truth to what Harlan said. Well, so much for that. I knew Yuma struggled with decisions, but I had no idea he was this bad. <sighs> Still, we've done all we can for now. Lord Harlan is in custody, so I will spend the night here. Uh, the rest of you may make yourselves comfortable. Just stay out of the back chamber. Oh, come on! I bet there's rows of beds in there! You can spare one! Fine, but just the one. Noah, are you all by yourself? I am. They changed the guards around this time, which gives me an opportunity to slip away. It's been my chance to go on little adventures ever since I was a child. Uh, not that I've ever left the palace grounds or anything. <laughs> that would be much too scary. In fact, this right here is about the extent of my adventuring zeal. I spoke to Melrich and learned of how you and Periel snuck into Harlan's manor to secure the contract. Periel really trusts you, doesn't she? No, more than that. She relies on you. How I envy that. Doesn't she rely on you, too? I mean, you're the first person she turned to when Galdia attacked. And she's still appealing to you now. She must really trust you. I would be delighted if that were the case. 
But is it really me she was counting on? Or did she merely turn to me because I happen to be the person on the throne? I adore Periel. The way she's always spoken her mind, even when we were children. Despite growing up in circumstances not unlike mine, she's never afraid to be herself and do what she wants. She's ever pushing forward. Well, I'm from a small village, so I can't imagine what you've been through, but you look like a fighter to me. Is that not the case? Oh, heavens no. I'm worthless. Everyone thinks so, and they're quite right. Oh, I made a few clumsy attempts when I first inherited the throne, but I was never able to rule skillfully as my father did. And now, at the time of my country's greatest crisis, I still can't make up my mind. Instead of deciding, I fixate on all the tragedy my decisions might cause and simply freeze. Harlan had the right of it. I'm a feckless fool of a king. Who would ever follow a ruler like me? I just... That isn't true! That just isn't true! You aren't a bad king at all, your majesty! What? You are absolutely and completely wrong about yourself, and you mistake your kindness for weakness. I know how hard you work at being king. I know better than anyone, so please don't speak ill of yourself. It's everyone else's loss if they don't understand what a wonderful ruler you are. Thank you, Yulin. But I will never live up to my father. There's wisdom in her words, your majesty. People have you wrong. Indeed, you have yourself wrong. Now, I grant you may not currently be ruling with the skill and finesse of your father. But you're holding yourself up to a monarch with years of experience already behind him. Surely you can see how superficial it is to compare that man to a king who has taken but the first steps of his reign. A fledgling knight is no match for a hardened veteran. And yet, the youngster possesses something the veteran does not. A future. And I would not have you discard yours so lightly my king. Oh, Melrich. You Lin? Oh, uh, forgive me, your majesty. Uh, I was dreadfully out of line to speak to you like that. I will accept any punishment you see fit. Then your punishment is to tell me the truth. Do you really believe I can become a good king? Of course I do. You will be a, a kind king, and a great one, I I'm sure of it. Thank you. I will, or at least I shall try to. I cannot express what an honor it is to fight alongside a man of your esteem, General Goldwyn. Mm-hmm. If I may, General, I hear we'll be entering Eucharist territory soon. When do you anticipate being able to report our victory to Dukes Aldric? I must contemplate how best to compose the message. It is folly to contrive victories from unfought battles. A warrior must approach every enemy with equal sincerity. But who could Eucharist field who has any hope of victory against you? General Cassius is a steady hand who commands the love of his men, and I hear the kingdom is home to another formidable mind as well. And also... Yes? I take to the battlefield for our emperor. 
Despite the great pains Aldrich went through to convince His Excellency of this campaign's merit, I do not fight for the Dukes. Oh, good morning, all. I take it you spent the night here? Guys, you are not gonna believe this, Periel! Loose lips, darling. Come, Noah. We're leaving. Announcing His Majesty, King Yuma. Have you reached a decision, sire? If you require a messenger to go to Duke's Aldric, I am yours to command. This is it. What's it going to be? I come bearing urgent news. Your Majesty. It seems an Imperial Expeditionary Force has been sighted. It is under the command of General Goldwyn, and outnumbers our army two to one. Double our numbers? And General Goldwyn? The man is said to be invincible. Uh. Your Majesty! I have always been a worthless man, Periel. I am incapable of making decisions and paralyzed with fear of how others might view me. I have ever been a coward. I acknowledge this. General Cassius? Yes, my king. Melrich? Your majesty. For a period of two weeks, beginning now, I entrust to the two of you the entirety of my royal authority. You are to make every decision, for I have no doubt you are more capable of selecting the right choices than I. Call it a coward's conviction if it please you. Regardless, it is the best decision I can muster. What folly is this? Has His Majesty taken leave of his senses? Royal authority to a mere general and a lecturer at the studium? Say the word, Your Majesty, and we lords are ready to lead in your stead. The both of you must refuse this. It will plunge the kingdom into chaos. Folly from your fool of a king. Yet all the more reason to do it. Pitiful I may be, but I beg of you to save our kingdom. But... Are you quite certain? After all, what's to stop the General and myself from eliminating you should we come to enjoy this little taste of power? If that is your choice, then so be it. Were you to do such a thing, I believe it would be for the sake of the kingdom. Your Majesty. Long have I sworn my service and loyalty to House Shirith, Your Majesty. But now, I pledge it anew to you, Yuma Shirith, the man before whom I now take the knee. I shall answer the trust you have placed in me with all of my heart and ability. I 
I do not know if my talents are worthy of the faith you place in them, Your Majesty. In fact, it speaks to their inadequacy that I have so clearly misjudged you. And for that, I must atone. Whatever shreds of wit and talent I still possess, I swear to you. As if any of this gives us a chance against the Empire! Your Majesty, it's not too late. We can still draft a letter of intent to Dukes Eldrick and... General Cassius. Any hope of successfully defending this kingdom will require the full efforts of her people and the full unity of her spirit. The army will be mustered, and the realm's efforts devoted entirely to its defense. Any who choose to publicly object to His Majesty's wishes will be executed on the spot. Mm -hmm. We did it! Now we can finally fight back! I'm not certain such jubilant optimism is appropriate. As General Cassius noted, it will require all the strength you, Chris, can muster to have even a chance of victory. And we'll be right beside you. Agreed. This is everything we've been striving for. Then allow me to formally request the support of the Alliance. You shall have it and more. We'll return to the inn and have Janequist beat the muster drums. I shall contact Emir and have him commence preparations straight away, milady. Send me. I'll get your message there safe. Shall I set this in motion, Commander? Do it. Aya! Let's go beat him like a dirty carpet! They are certainly in for a surprise. All right. We need to win this, whatever the cost. You ready, Noah? I think Periel already took off for the palace. Choice. You'll see.
Let us review our strategy. We face a war of attrition. Unfortunately, Haishan was not built to be easily defended. Therefore, we must meet the Imperial host on the field and strive to buy time while minimizing our casualties. We leave this in your capable hands, General Cassius. His Majesty's troops are kith and kin to me. I'll not let a single man die in vain. I trust messengers have been dispatched to Norster and Kinan? They have, but neither will act until we prove our mettle, which is why this first battle is pivotal. Our enemy is a general both seasoned and clever, and he will not rely on superior numbers alone to deliver victory. We must whittle away at their strength now, then turn the war of attrition which follows to our advantage. Which is where we come in! Uh, right? Correct. We are counting on your ambush to throw the battlefield into disorder. Do not let us down, Commander Noah. We won't. We're ready. General Cassius. Melrich. Noah. Pray bring us victory and return home safely. Thank you, Your Majesty. If my projections are correct, this battle may be over far sooner than we all dare hope. Projections? Hmm. Reporting, sir! The Imperial Army has arrived and is forming up just where you said they would! Then we'd best get started. Are you ready, Commander? Let's do this. Ready yourselves! This day we fight for our homes, for our king, and for the future of our country! The Imperial Army's here. So it's war, then. I assumed their forces would throw down their arms and flee, rather than take the field for such a weakling king. Perhaps they found a more inspiring leader. Fortune smiles upon us this day, General Goldwyn. The honors of a battlefield victory are ours for the taking. <sighs> It is an honor for you to lead my vanguard, Lieutenant Kessling. I expect your rune tank to earn us a great many accolades. Um, about that, sir? The rune tank isn't really designed for solo combat. It requires a lot of infantry support, so... I was not speaking to you, soldier. Well, young Sian, what do you say? Will you fight for the glory of your house? As you command, sir. Hildy, Valentin, gather what troops you can. At once, Lieutenant. By decree of the Emperor, you may submit peacefully to Galdia's glory, or be crushed beneath her heel. It's time. Give the signal. Looks like we're up. Let's go! Yeah! To battle! What? 
A second force? Where the hell did they come from? There's the tactician signal. Come on, boys. Let's honor our contract and show these imps the color of their own guts. An ambush! What impudence! This is the moment we've been waiting for. Advance! All forces, attack! Shields up! Stand your ground! I will deal with this ambush myself. Are the troops holding up? We're ready to move whenever. Though if you ask me, that move should be to turn and run. You forget yourself, second lieutenant. <laughs> She's in a great mood today. Enemy in sight, sir. On your order, Lieutenant. Attack! Cut! Withdraw! Retreat! Hurry! Don't waste lives! Have you be quiet there, thank you. yourselves together, you sloppy fools! His Grace the Dukes is expecting a great victory from me! Concentrate your attack. Don't miss.
General Goldwyn, I presume. Your reputation precedes you, General Cassius. Now, let us put it to the test. Let's do our best, guys! Now form up and prepare for the next! If you have finally regained control of your troops, General Chapel, then prepare to withdraw. We are finished here. What? Learning the true strength of our foe is victory enough for the day. It has not come without cost, but to persist further would only result in needless bloodshed. We maintain the upper hand and are in no particular rush. Additionally, the sun has begun its descent, and I've no desire to fight in darkness on unfamiliar terrain. We will withdraw! Fine. Retreat! Fall back, you dogs! Nice job, Noah. <laughs> you sure showed him, cousin. A victory on the Alliance's very first deployment! Let's not press our luck. An overzealous attempt to pursue General Goldwyn may end poorly. All units, fall in! You fought bravely and well this day, and you, Chris, thanks you for it. Now, we return to Harshon triumphant! We did it! We set him running for the hills! And more importantly, everyone is safe. Is this victory real? I can scarce believe it. It is only one battle behind us, Your Majesty. The war ahead will be nothing to celebrate. It disheartens me that our ambush did little to face General Goldwyn's troops. He truly is the military titan, they say. Yeah. Even I've heard of the guy, so I guess today didn't amount to much more than an ugly introduction. Let's not diminish the significance of forcing a retreat in our first battle. I've already made arrangements to inform the other members of the League, and trust the news will change their countenance for the better. If I may, who were those other reinforcements, and why did you not mention them? 
I'm guessing you mean me. Allow me to introduce Captain Bernard Sawad of the White Sands Mercenary Company. I reached out to him some time ago to secure his services. Oh, and if you're worried about the mercenary part, I promise you this. A Sawad never breaks a contract. You hired these sellswords, Melrich? I managed to divert some funds their way, yes. A bit from the Royal Treasury and more that was earmarked for the Studium and Archives. I figured the forthwith confiscation of Harlan's estate would sufficiently refresh our coffers. <sighs> well, I suppose I did give you my royal authority, but I'm still pleased to see you wielding it with such wisdom. Just do see the ledgers end up balanced, yes? Don't spare it another thought, Your Majesty. That's something I'm quite confident I can manage. Uh, yep, still incorrigible. <laughs> Something on your mind, Sane? Hmm. You're wondering what will happen if Eucharist falls, aren't you? Its downfall seems inevitable, considering the League's lack of unity. Just like Duke Saldrick wants, I bet. You're thinking about it again. In part. But mostly I'm just wondering what I'm doing here. I intended to make a name for myself and House Kessling as an Imperial officer. I believed that was the right thing. It's what I thought he would do. Your brother? Yes. But now I'm not sure about anything anymore. So where does that leave me? Sorry to interrupt the boy talk, fellas. Did I miss anything spicy? Look, we've all got them. Ties, I mean. Obligations. I know all about yours, Sane. Little by little, they tighten around your neck until one day you wake up and realize you're wearing a noose. All part of growing up, I suppose. At these times, the times where you have to weigh your friends and your loyalties and your future, these are the moments that tell us who we are. You're young. You feel like throwing caution to the wind and doing the wrong thing for the right reason. Well, do it. Uh, this is getting a little complicated and poetic for me, but I think I agree. Paul, Valentine, thank you both. Hildy. A messenger just arrived bearing urgent news from the homeland, Lieutenant. It's as you feared. What? How could this have happened? I'm still verifying the information. It's possible this is but a rumor. This is not some piece of idle gossip, man! You're telling me! The Emperor has been assassinated? That is... Uh, yes. That's what I've heard. But all the more reason to swiftly complete our occupation of Haishan while we wait for further news. The late Emperor's decree still stands, after all, and His Grace the Dukes has not yet issued our next orders. The Dukes has not issued them? I... I mean nothing by it. Let us resume our efforts on the morrow. Rise and shine, Noah. The new day has dawned and everyone's gathered at the palace.
battle of attrition continues. Our ambushes in the last fight took a modest toll on the enemy, but we still remain outnumbered. This time, Noah's allied troops and the White Sands mercenaries will fight on the defensive line. Hold a keen edge out there, both of you, and be ready for anything. <laughs> if there's one thing the White Sands know, it's how to hold a keen edge. And your troops, Commander Noah? Ready to go. You darn tootin' we are! Come on! You Chrissians! Take heart from yesterday's victory! But do not take your enemy lightly! For he will fight with even more fury this day! How droll that they considered that a victory. They merely bought themselves another few hours to breathe. For today, it will all come crashing down around them. In the name of His Excellency, the Emperor.
Concentrate your attack. You be quiet there, thank you. the Empire's strength. The enemy is formidable. Don't approach them lightly. Tighten up, everyone! Been a while since I had to work this hard for my wage. Another tough fight in our hands today. Our objective is to drag it out for as long as we can while minimizing our losses. We need just stall for time. We must find a way to turn the tide. Otherwise... Hold strong! Remember your contract! And remember that death in battle is the greatest end a warrior can ask for! It's the enemy. Ready? Listen to me, everyone. You may have heard the rumors already. But His Excellency the Emperor has been assassinated. Then it's true. Dukes Aldrich is the man behind it. I have had ample opportunity to witness the Dukes' tyranny, and have come to believe the invasion of Eucharis is not just. Therefore, pursuing it would be a stain on the Empire's honor. This is not an order. Those who do not wish to follow me will receive no punishment. But on this day, I turn my banners in revolt against Dukes Aldrich. I fight to return the Empire to a just and righteous path. The 
cheering. Your family's soldiers are true to their house, Lieutenant. They stand with you, and they're all fools. So what does that make you? The woman responsible for keeping fools in line, apparently. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Disarray in the Imperial ranks? What is happening? What does this mean? Look! It's sane! <sighs> I do not understand what is happening, but I know a potential opportunity when I see it. Protect that company of turncoats! That company is under the Kessling boy's command. The lad takes after his brother. Engage the enemy! Give them all you've got! Alright! We've rooted the enemy lead. Onward to the next one! General Chapel, order your troops to withdraw. I cannot believe the great General Goldwyn would say such a thing. We must annihilate these pathetic traitors at once. No. What we must do is learn the truth of the Emperor's assassination. Until that happens, this war cannot continue. All units, fall in. We withdraw at once and return to Goldian soil. Yes, sir. This is absurd! We need just win this one battle so I can deliver the news to Dukes Aldrich and... Do as you will, but I have no intention of fighting for your Dukes. I shall never retreat. My host is more than sufficient to handle this motley force. General Goldwyn's legion has stood down. But why? My projections appear to have come true. I assure you, Goldwyn's retreat is no fate. Something has transpired inside the Empire, which means we can finish this here and now. Destroyed. Continue fighting. Off we go. We've destroyed the enemy battalion, but don't let down your guard. Land reactor stable. We can keep going. But... But I was to claim victory here. Me, for the glory of Dukes Aldrich. Damnation. Is it? We did it! We saved you, Chris! Uh, we did do 
that, right? Indeed. Victory is ours. Oh, yeah! That's how it's done, cousin! Well fought, Noah. You comported yourself with great skill. You might be longer for this world than I thought. I have protected my kingdom and my king. The Imperial Army has quit our territory, Your Majesty. Our scouts expect them to continue withdrawing to the north. Then... we won? Yes, Your Majesty. We won. That's... that's wonderful! Yes, thank you all so much! I owe a great debt to you and the Allied Army. Thank you for fighting at our side. It was a mutual effort, Your Majesty. You needn't shy away from credit, Noah. Our successes thus far are in no small measure thanks to you. Yeah, so we'd see a little swagger already. I gotta agree. <laughs> we finally gave those imps the shellacking they deserve, and there's no harm in savoring it! <laughs> My concern is that I fail to understand what prompted Goldwyn's troops to withdraw. Oh, um... Huh... Was that some scheme of yours, Melridge? I fear I am as in the dark as the rest of you. However, I suspect... Perhaps I can shed some light on that. Same. This Imperial officer and his people just surrendered to us, Commander. I had a feeling it would be you. A pleasure to see you again, Noah. Been a while, Lieutenant. So, uh, thanks for switching sides and all, but, uh, why? I harbor suspicions which have driven me to leave the Empire. Suspicions related to General Goldwyn's abrupt retreat? Yes. If you don't know, His Excellency the Emperor has been assassinated. 
What? The Emperor of Galdia? But why? Dukes Eldrick is how. While we lack solid evidence of such, the information we've gathered certainly raises the possibility. So that's why they all turned tail and ran. This Duke's guy must be a first-class moron. Way to make your move at the worst possible time, you dope. I will return to the castle on the morrow. Our troops must be reorganized before we can carry on to Norrister. And you, Melridge? Actually, I have received the King's blessing to make myself useful within the Alliance. If you are amiable, I feel I can respond more nimbly stationed at your headquarters. So you expect our battle with the Empire to continue? Oh, I believe it has only just begun. Duke Saldric's ambitions clearly extend beyond the Galdian throne. The invasion of you, Chris, was simply a tidy way to displace the General for a time. It certainly is beginning to look that way. Goldwyn was ever the late Emperor's staunchest loyalist. Once Aldric sent him far from home, he used that time to sow the seeds of a coup. He's a ruthless and cunning man, and no mistake. But I dare say you may be his equal. It pleases me to have you on our side. Oh, I don't think I am the cunning one here. After all, you didn't hand your army over to that Noah boy for no reason. This has been your plan from the start. Yes. Well... Still, if the Resistance army was led by the Countess of Groom, it would invite no end of suspicion. Tongues would wag about my agenda, my ambition. But a commoner turned hero rising up against the Empire's tyranny? Now that's the sort of story that resonates with people. After all, who doesn't love an underdog? <laughs> so, what is it that you hope to gain from all this milady? Clearly not prestige. Clearly not. No, my wish is far more modest. Kiddo, how you doing today? Good? Good. We should visit the Great Hall. There's gonna be a meeting. Now that Commander Noah has joined us, we can begin. Okay, first, begin what? And second, aren't you supposed to be in Eucris? King Yuma, in his wisdom, has granted me permission to serve the Alliance. I intend to do so to the best of my abilities. And seeing as I'm still under contract with the tactician, I guess I'm coming aboard as well. Not gonna complain about that. You fought like a demon in you, Chris. Then it's settled. Melridge will be chief strategist and advisor to the Alliance's new permanent commander, Noah. Wait, what? Uh, but I'm just filling in for you, right? I mean, I'm not a leader. Not a real one, anyway. Not a leader? The man who secured the use of this castle? Who forged an alliance with the tree folk? Who won the battle for you, Chris? Do try to show a little more confidence. But... I thought you liked to meddle. 
If so, it's time to plunge your nose into something that counts. You can help more than a person here or a person there. You can help entire nations. Um, I guess. But look. <laughs> Looks like you got an occasion to rise to, Noah. You okay with this, Ymir? Her ladyship and I have discussed it, if that is what you mean. <laughs> this is already way more fun than Imperial meetings. Shh! Keep your voice down! I'd like to take this moment to formally offer my help, Noah. Galdea no longer pursues a righteous path. But by standing with you, I believe she can yet be saved. Sounds like you found a new calling. I have. I will set aside my duty to House Kessling and follow the dictates of my own heart. Chills, Zane. Chills. Also, that look in your face tells me you're doing the right thing. Oh? I don't feel like my expression is any different. Cause it's not. <laughs> I do hate to spoil the mood, but I was hoping we might discuss next steps, if I may. Uh, he's asking you, kiddo? Huh? Oh, I, I guess I do this kind of thing now, huh? Sure, Melridge. Go ahead. <clears throat> As of now, the Empire has pulled its forces out of Eucharist, but it remains a heavy presence in Gru. We must be prepared for when Duke's Aldrich inevitably resumes his efforts to subjugate the League of Nations. Which I'm guessing will happen soon. There are two ways to effectively use the time we have left. The first is to gather as many allies as we possibly can. If I might interrupt, I have an idea about that. What about Imperciak, the Shi'ar capital in the desert east of Eucharist? Uh, she who now? The Shi'ars. As a mercenary, I've had plenty of chances to fight both with and against them. They're strong warriors, who prize valor above all else. A fine idea. As it happens, I've already secured the King's permission to use Eucharist's desert checkpoint. Commander Noah, might I ask you to go to Imperciark and seek their help? You should take Bernard as your guide. Checkpoint's northeast of Haishan. From there, we'll cross the mountains into the gateway town at the Bavi. I'll explain more as we go. Sounds good. Now, as for the other way to make a difference. At this moment, the Dukes is no doubt engaged with fallout from the Emperor's assassination. The sooner that's quelled, the sooner he can turn his attentions to us. Which means we need to keep that chaos churning for as long as possible. I have asked Lieutenant Keslin for his assistance in this matter. We have already reached out to the late Emperor's loyalists in Galdea. Naturally, they aren't keen on Aldric seizing power. We think it's better for us to go talk to them, since there are people and all. Which means we'll be working separately for a bit. Probably for the best. Many here in the Alliance will need time to trust us, and understandably so. Hey, for what it's worth, I totally trust you guys. Thanks, Leon. The others will come around once they get to know the Lieutenant. Sane's group will work independently to gather intel within the Empire and sabotage the Duke's plans. Do everything in your power to destabilize his grip and delay his ability to resume the invasion. You can count on us. I will serve as a messenger, traveling back and forth between this castle and the Empire. Want a little help with that? Please. If you 
Leave me, I'm yours. Continue the journey together. Just tell me how to help. You're safe in my hands. Ship, I will give my all. I'm pleased to have that settled. Commander Noah, Lieutenant Kessling. Good luck to you both. Thank you. We'll knock your socks off! We'll try not to let you down. Oh, we might even let you up! I don't know what that means. Two simultaneous operations. One to gather allies, and one to disrupt the enemy. Pressure's on, Sane. Who's gonna finish first? Technically, neither task is one that can be completely finished. There he goes. I'm fretting the details again. Uh, yep. Some things never change. Come in. What a beautiful inn we've made. Please come by any time.
To reach the desert, we need to pass through a checkpoint northeast of Haishan. We should ask Carrie if she can warp us there. Are you wondering how Lieutenant Kessling is faring, sir? I'm okay for now. I'm sure he's making steady pro...
again. Aha! Good to see you. Aha! Good to see you. Do come again whenever you need a light. 